are we even doing here? Well, we want to see if sardines and wasabi, wasabi even go together. But first, I think you need a little bit of backstory, so enjoy this dramatic reenactment. Oh, goody, it's a new Sloan Jabroni video! Hell yeah! We're going right for the wasabi, right up front. I can't believe anyone would have the audacity to put sardines and wasabi together. Oh, I hope his sinuses are ready! Acutely packed. All right, you feeling it? Oh, I bet he's feeling it. Oh my God, oh, he's gonna start crying. He's gonna start crying. I think that if I was to blind taste these, I wouldn't even notice there was oh, wasabi. Oh, come on! I think I'm gonna have to make my very own wasabi deans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're back. Yeah, so to take a shot at making our proper sardines with wasabi. Wasabi. I've got a French can, just like Slow Jabroni had. Yep, Conatable. These are uh, 2018s, but they're normal Deans. And I've got some wasabi. I don't know what kind this is because I don't read Japanese. And you know, I know there's there's wasabi and then there's wasabi, but this is this is just this is what it is. And we're just gonna assume that all of you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna describe this stuff in any detail. So. My idea is to take the olive oil from inside of this can, uh-huh, uh-huh, and mix it with some wasabi using this little guy, you know? And I, how hard could it be? It's not even really cooking. And then we'll put that mixture onto the sardines and we'll enjoy them and I'll talk about it, right? It almost seems too easy. Yeah. So, um, yeah, cooking with Matt. So we're gonna drain this can. And by the way, Dan at RainbowTomatoesGarden.com, he gave me this idea. He's got a video up of it, you know, of doing this, kind of making a, an emulsion with the olive oil with one of these little milk frothers. His idea, he said, Matt, you should really try this sometime. And I'm like, well, yeah. Um, and I've done it a couple of times. It's kind of neat. It's a way to kind of liven it up. And it's a good way to be able to create the olive oil into sort of this frothy like stuff that you can put back onto the sardines. You'll see what we're going to do. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Like like it, it, it would just go like this. Oh my God, am I going to make a mess? <laughs> oh my god, I'm only kind of making a mess. Yeah, so you do this and what happens is olive oil goes flying all over your office. Yeah, ideally you're doing this in the kitchen, yeah. But just to give you an idea. Oh my god, eh, it smells like sardines, which is, you know, a delight. Now, the trick is, how much of this do I add? I was disappointed, and I think Slow was disappointed as well, that it just wasn't a sharp enough taste. He was like, I'm getting a hint, or, or whatever he said, you know? So I'm gonna make sure that this is banging, you know? Um, so I'm gonna go and squeeze uh, plenty in there. That's probably too much, uh, but I like wasabi a lot. I like to put a lot of it on my sushi, and um, you know, I like to have that great feeling all through my head. And this is like, oh, oh my God, this is so stupid. I should have done this in the kitchen, but I was like, there's no way I'm gonna set all this crap up in the kitchen to shoot it in the kitchen, just to bring it back in here to eat it. And you know, you know it's all that, it's all that stuff. Oh, man. Mix. Oh no. Is it even mixing? I mean, it's mixing a little bit. These things are neat though. I use this thing all the time. I mix up all kinds of stuff with it. You know, I'm making, always making my little like breakfast drinks and stuff. You, you know, if you, you drink that emergency or whatever. 
Yeah, you don't even need a spoon. Okay, I think we're kind of getting it. Oh. Oh, man. I mean, just like little, little, little bubbles of olive oil are hitting my glasses. They're going all over the place. This might be as good as we can make it. Let me just... Let me just get some. Oishi. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, baby. I had a, the other can of these that I bought. Like, uh from my, from my uh, recent rainbowtomatoesgarden.com haul. And they are damn good, these kind of top. You know, I think Slow Jabroni's onto something. He's, he's totally down a French Dean's hole. And um, yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Cause they're just like, they're pilchards, but they're kind of soft. I don't know what they do. I mean, I know these are like, four years aged, but I don't know. So I'm just gonna dump all this on here, right? Yeah, right. Okay, we got a little bit more of the waspy on the bottom. Guys, I don't know why I say wasabi versus wasabi. I think it's, I think it has to do with how my mom says it, you know? But like, when you, when you, like I'm not even I'm not really nailing a Japanese pronunciation. Wasabi. But when you go, yeah, I don't I don't know what I'm doing. You know, could, but wasabi sounds so crazy. You know, but then when you don't put the accent on the second syllable, wasabi, in the middle of an English sentence, you know, you kind of like you know you know you sound like Alex Trebek or something. Name the genre. RSVP, Alex Trebek. Ah, uh, so I'm just gonna go whole hog on one of these guys. I'll tell you what, the old slurry up the olive oil trick, it's really something. I mean, you can tell it kind of pretty quickly wants to turn back into olive oil, but look, it did a really good job of coating the Deans real fine, and now we've got this whole Deany mess. So I can definitely see you got some spicy oil, you got some neat flavor or something. You do this, and you're gonna get a little bit more mileage out of that stuff than just eating the Deans right out of the can. I don't think this is spicy enough. I don't think this is, um really getting me that much. This is, I mean, it's, that's kind of a lot. That's kind of a stupid amount to put on um, one little piece of uh, sushi or uh, sardine, but, you know, I'm just going to go for it. And, um, you know, at least, um, at least maybe I'll cry or something and, and you know, this will be worth it as like a, a dumb YouTube stunt on its own. That was kind of what I'm looking for, but that was a lot to put on there. Like, I'm gonna go through this whole stupid tube, which is probably like five bucks or something, just to uh, just to spice up these Deans, which don't even really need it because they're like lovely sardines that I would just eat any day anyway. But I'll tell you what, if you really, you know, I don't know. Hey, yeah, okay, verdict time. Wasabi and sardines, they go together, they go together. Imagine that, you know? Yeah, they go together fine. This is a lot of fun, this is very tasty. Yeah, yeah. I highly suggest all of this. I suggest trick with a squiggly D buzzer here. I suggest 
watch the beat on your deans. I suggest making a mess in your office. Um, yeah, just, you know, go for it. YOLO. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.